Hey, what's up? This is Art. I'm back. So, hey, functional training. It's an old school from my old days in uh, Eastern Europe. I remember was pull, push method. Very simple. What we used to do? Do bench. You push. So if you push, is your pad. And you're like, okay. Well, if you push, we have to pull. Then you go and pull the bar. So you do deadlift or you do upright rows or bent over rows, you know? Then military presses, right? Push, then pull, pull downs, you know? Bicep, pull, tricep, push, you know? Legs, push, quad, pull, hamstring, you know, calves, all that. So that's how we used to train. It would be uh, free weights, all metal plates, you know, old school gym, nah, nothing fancy, no uh, no treadmill, no uh, no cardio equipment. You want to run, you go outside, you run in the forest, you come back. There was some type of barn, you know, leaks through the roof when it, when it rained. And you just train, nobody cares, you know, a bunch of guys that can heavy weights. And that was great, you know, and that's what, that's how I fall in love and the way that in Eastern Europe, where I'm from, and um, man, that was great. Winter, snow, people come to the gym, work out, and uh, during the winter time, it was booking season, and summertime, cutting season, you eat different foods, you know, you follow some kind of diet. I gotta tell you guys, I remember those guys when I was 13, 14 years old, and they were professional uh, power lift, powerlifters, and they were like eating so much fat and, and meat and uh, they were really strong. And then Strowman came around, you know, Mariusz Pudzianowski uh, from Poland, Białoraska. He was great. I um, was watching his videos. I went to uh, see him a couple times and uh, huge guy. But the main, uh, main thing that got my attention was cut. He was ripped and he was huge and he could move. He was running around, lifting like crazy weights. and won like six, seven competitions, six in a row, world uh, strongest, strongest man competition. And uh, that was great to watch. And that's, that's, that's from Poland, that's where I'm from, you know? And uh, I came here, you know, and, uh, you know, started working, you know, and didn't have much time. And I was never dreaming. It was never my dream to be a professional uh, bodybuilder or powerlifter or, you know, always find something else to do, you know? Uh, I was passionate about sports and then uh, I always incorporate weightlifting in soccer and, and uh, martial mixed martial arts I was into. So it's always brought me back to the weight room to, to train, train hard so I can do better, you know, in sports. I could become a better athlete, you know, and come up with the new routines and new ways of training. But always, uh, uh, it brought me back to basics. I injured my pet in strongman competition. I broke my ankle. I tore my ligaments. I uh, I ruptured my uh, my uh, uh, I, I ripped my my uh, shoulder uh, and uh, rotator cuff. And uh, supposed to have surgeries and never went under the knife. I didn't want to. I started training. You know, I came back. So I can't lift as much as I used to. I can't train as hard as I used to because uh, I pay the price. I'm four years old and the things doesn't go my way any anymore like I, I would like to, but it doesn't discourage me from going hard, training every day. I have to make sure I make time. I make time. It's, there's no such a thing you have no time. You make time, you show up, you show up on time as scheduled and you do your workout. And you do your workout. So guys, you know, I hope uh, I, I, I told you uh, told you a little, little bit of uh, my story and you get to know me somewhat. But the main thing is uh, uh, you guys think about why you're doing this and you should always do it for yourself, you know. And uh, number one, stay healthy, take care of yourself and I talk to you soon.